we hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. Joe Biden is incredibly mentally ill. I'm among many qualified people. I'm the best qualified people person for this job. Today's question asks if I can analyze the situation with Joe Biden and these theories about cognitive impairment. Specifically, does he have some type of dementia or is he exhibiting early warning signs of dementia? Biden has a long history of gaffes. He has said a lot of things that don't make a lot of sense. COVID has taken this year, just since the outbreak, has taken more than 100 years. Look, here's the lives. It's just, it's a, when you think about it. We choose unity over division. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. I propose, and I'm going to digress slightly. I, here we, we're in a situation. I, the president asked me to head up a cancer moonshot. He can't form cohesive sentences. He can't think clearly. And it just constantly seems like somebody is writing a script for him to say, or it's like somebody speaking into an earpiece. You know, the rapidly rising uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with uh, I don't know. Uh, uh. And he tries to re-utter re what they're saying. He tries to read off of the script, but it just doesn't make sense to him. And so he talks a lot, but he really says nothing. Kinds of things that, that have to be done. Um, you know, there's a, uh, during World War, Two, uh, you know, where Roosevelt came up with a thing uh, that uh, you know was totally different than a than the, the it's called he called it the you know the World War Two he had the war the, the war production board. He struggles to make his point, I even while looking down at his right. notes. Still, but to get there, we can't let our guard down. This fight is far from order from over, as I told the woman in Pennsylvania. Proof he's reading from a script. Obviously, somebody up there scripted this for him to say he's just a tool. Another country and annexed a significant portion of it called Crimea. Right. He's saying that it was President, my boss, it was his fault. He says things that make him look like he has forgotten what he's doing. Because during a recent campaign event, well, Uncle Joe apparently didn't even remember what years he was the vice president. He's talking about the tragedy in Parkland, Florida in 2018, the shooting which occurred a year after he left office. This is what he said about it. I watched what happened when the kids from Parkland marched up to, and I, 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 I met with them, and then they went off to up on the hill when I was vice president, and they went off the hill to go into those neighborhoods. All those congressmen were like, no, I'm not here. I'm not here. I, I'm not, don't, don't tell them I'm around. They're afraid of it. They should be exposed. All right, doesn't stop there. Biden is stumbling over his words in almost every event. Here's just a small little sample from Iowa. Words that stun the nation, and I would argue, I know, shocked the world. International leaders spoke about it. You had people like Margaret Thatcher, excuse me, you had people like the, the former chairman and leader of the party in, in Germany. You had Angela Merkel. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids, wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. Poor kids are just as bright as white kids, and he wasn't vice president during the Parkland shooting, and he said, we choose truth over facts, and Prime Minister Thatcher's been gone a long time. And then we tell you this would happen, that Biden would be spinning in a million directions, unable to stay on message. His team is running scared. They don't know what to do at this point. He said that he was the Democratic candidate for Senate. And when he was in New Hampshire, he started talking about how great Vermont was. At one speaking event, he became verbally aggressive with a union worker and threatened to take away his AR-14. Considering there is no such firearm, that would be an incredible feat. He called a person at one of his events a lying, dog-faced pony soldier and challenged him to a push-up and IQ test. You see it on the TV. No, I know you do. And by the way, that's why I, I'm not sedentary. I don't, I get up and, and, and no, let, 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 let him go. Let him go. 
Look, the reason I'm running is because I've been around a long time and I know more than most people know. And I can get things done. That's why I'm running. And you want to check my shape on Let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take my pizza. He doesn't seem to understand that numbers mean something, like they can be used to count. For example, he said that 150 million Americans have been killed by guns since 2007. Just to put that in perspective, there are about 330 million people in the United States, which means that Biden believes that gun violence killed 45% of the U.S. population in 13 years. Between 70 and 85 million people died in World War II. So he believes that gun violence from 2007 killed about twice as many people as died in World War II. So this mistake looks like he just can't connect with numbers. So he can't think clearly. He says things that make absolutely no sense and people sit there and clap. How can you clap to that? He's literally saying nothing. It's just blah, 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 blah. And he can't even walk. He falls, he stumbles. And I really, I feel, I feel bad for the guy. He's clearly not mentally or physically fit to be in any kind of position of power. When Joe Biden addressed the nation last night after the Electoral College officially confirmed him as the next president, he repeatedly coughed and cleared his throat, leading many viewers to worry. <clears throat> What's with the so cough? Again, you know, in this battle <clears throat> for the soul of America. President-elect Joe Biden had a lot of people worried last night. <clears throat> he coughed and hacked his way through a speech carried live at 7.30 East Coast time, celebrating the Electoral College, affirming his victory. For a peaceful transition of power. <clears throat> so, what was it? The president-elect says it's just a little cold. Hello, Atlanta! Today, at a rally in Georgia, he still sounded a bit raspy and was still coughing. <clears throat> now, of course, he's just a puppet and he's probably part of a bigger conspiracy uh, for Harris to take office. I mean, he even calls her President Harris himself. Now, when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour... If you can't see that he's mentally ill... God, I got a lot of... I got hairy legs that turn that 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 turn uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again they look at it so i learned about roaches i learned about kids jumping on my lap and i've loved kids jumping on my lap anyways that is the president of america have no idea how he even managed to make that happen. Uh, no intelligent person would even listen to him talk and say, yeah, I trust that guy to lead. But the good news is, is it doesn't really matter who's president because the real power lies in the individual and that's what they don't want you to realize. I just spoke at, a, at Dartmouth on healthcare at the medical school, or not, I guess I wasn't actually on the campus, but the people from the medical school were at the, I, I wanna be clear. I'm not going nuts.